been wildin' and woo woo, been wildin' it, been wildin' it, been wildin' and woo woo, been wildin' it, been wildin' it, been wildin' and woo woo, been wildin' it, been wildin' it, we been wildin' out here, man. They wildin'. What's the deal, man? This is boy, the one we claim, the one we claim TV, man. We back again, and I'm here to talk about the fight that happened in Mobile, Alabama. Funny thing about this story here, it's very funny. I seen Shannon Sharp posted, and he's gonna make it a white and black thing. And it's another time to where we can keep putting white and black against each other. I you I started thinking about this. Why in America do we call black people black and white people white, but everywhere else they go by their nationality? Peep gang, peep gang, peep gang, peep gang. Follow me, follow me. Somebody from Jamaican, you're Jamaican. Somebody from Haiti, you're Haitian. A black person from the DR, he's Dominican Republic. White person from Germany, oh, he's Polish. A white person from Polish, he's German. A white person from Russia, he's Hutsvaklis. You see how that how that works? But here in America, it's white and black. Why is that? America is a free Masonic organization. This is all about you. Got to have the dualities. You got to have that. They, the politics will not work without white versus black. When America first started, the story of slavery has been bamboozled, for one. Y'all gotta go read the history, follow Dane Calloway, follow him, go watch his channel from start to finish, he put the legwork in, and he showed y'all that slavery was really mistold to us and been a big story, it's really mistold to us. What I'm getting at is, whites and blacks used to get along a lot back in the day, or Spaniards, which is pretty much what they are, Spaniards, whatever you want to call them, whoever, whatever, whatever they was when they came over here, Spaniards, Englishmen, and black people, we used to get along a lot. Throughout the rest of the world, we got along. That racist stuff was created. It was created to cause chaos and destruction to have a reason for it to start the voting system. If we was getting along, there's no reason to have a government. Once we're having issues and there's, and there's beef with each other, now we got a government. So this fight here in Alabama, course of distraction, the guys, I noticed when I watched the video, there's two men wearing purple. So I'm pretty sure, just because you're wearing purple don't mean you're down the boys. But when I see new stories like this, I take that into my mind. I'm like, okay, that, that could be a signifier or identifier that they are with the Brotherhood, the Freemasons. And I'm like I said, this white and black thing. Now it's gonna keep pushing us against each other because it's a political thing. Be prepared for when the election come for more cops shooting black people, black people getting mad at white people. And I, let me tell you something, white people are the nicest to me. This white and black thing, y'all, I've been black for a long time, man, my whole life. I always experienced racism a few times. A few times. Like I got called the N-word with a hard ER, but buddy wasn't in front of my face. All right, and I'm pretty sure he was that that, that hate for black people was developed from his area, cause it's all a brain thing. But the white people from where I'm from, they are really very very kind to me. So this whole entire white versus black thing is what they're gonna have to keep pushing to for a division, cause you gotta have division, gotta divide and conquer. You gotta have people mad at each other. Okay, you can't have everybody on one side, because how are things gonna work? Everybody agree. How can I put my influence on anything if everybody agrees? We got to have division and arguments up, and we got to keep control. Um, Y'all got to read the, the book of Iceberg Slim. I only read a few books in my life. That's one of them. And in the book of the Iceberg Slim thing, when the pimp had holes, the way to keep control of his holes was pitting them against each other. So he would do things to make them want to compete with each other, and he would separate them. That is the way to keep control. It did in the, in the slavery days when um, there was some some times in slavery where they was talking about I know earlier in the video I said slavery was mistold to us which it was but there are some truths to it now what well, some of the truths was that they did have people held captive against their will and uh, in certain areas and they was taken to the extreme but in slavery days to keep the slaves from up rallying to each other to keep their brainwashing going they would put them against each other that's why you got black and it's still going on today and uh, you got dark skin versus light skin you got tall versus short. You got bald head with versus guy with hair. So you're gonna have those things going on. So this whole Montgomery fight thing, it is another ploy by the powers that be to keep black and white people arguing. I guarantee everybody who watched it said, 
oh, look at us dominating those white people. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all go out there and think them white boys can't fight. Now, there's a lot of white boys who can't fight. There's a lot of black boys who can't fight. There's a lot of, it's on both sides. Go out there and try them white boys and see if you're going to get your ass beat. I thought the same goddamn thing. I'm like, oh, you, he white. He can't see me. God, I, I won the fight, but that white boy gave me a run for my money, and I had to damn near slam that nigga on the back of his head to win. He, he may have been lucky I was a little heavier than him, but I won the fight, bro. I won that bitch. I thought a white boy was, was a bitch because he was, this motherfucker would cut the edges of his, his, his peanut butter and jelly sandwich off the edge and eat his peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And one day he had a nerve to talk some shit. And he was talking shit like, boy, you pussy, nigga, what's up? He's like, man, I fuck your black ass up. And when he said that, he's like, oh, he gonna pull that. We, we squared up, do 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 throwing him. But I was like, this white boy can fight. What it was, white boy got karate lessons and shit. And he was a lot stronger than I thought. But anyways, I wanted to fight. But y'all go out there and try to white boy think, oh, he's white, I can beat his ass because I'm black. It, that's what they try to put in y'all heads, man. There's some white boys out here in the South who've been working on a farm their whole life. We'll roll you. Try them, them, them bikers. Try them if you want. Don't be out here fighting nobody. Don't be judging the book box cover nowhere, man. There's a dude out here, 125 pounds. He will knock you out. Try him. Don't be out here fighting nobody, bro. Keep your hands to yourself. That's on both races. So when people watch this fight, the first thing they did was see white versus black. Now we got to where division starts and then it's going viral don't never trust nothing that's going viral unless it's me unless it's me if i go viral y'all support that support me going viral but anybody else no don't trust nobody going don't trust nothing going viral because it's not to be trusted when something going viral like that it's all about division dividing and conquering that's what it's all this shit's about making sure you fight your brother and all the other stuff you know what i'm saying that's how it really goes so, y'all gotta keep continue to keep peeping game on that. You know what I mean? Keep keep following up on that, man. And I do feel like the brotherhood had their ties into it. If you ask me, they they was tied in it. They, they are, the brotherhood is tied in it with everything that goes with on the news. Everything that go on on the news, the brotherhood is tied to it. Just know the, the, the Simpsons said it the best. The world is ran by Freemasons. Facts. The brotherhood, these secret societies are the one running everything. They part of the chessboard. And you won't get on the chessboard unless you play the game. That's all celebrities, all entertainers, all news people. There's not one person who ain't took no juice. Either sorority, fraternity, Freemason, Eastern Star, uh, some other secret society. We got something in Fayetteville called the home of the, the elk. The, uh, the secret order of the elk. Something like that. Then there's another one of the, the, the guards of the Pythian. It's right there in downtown. I'm like, but all these little secret societies, there's so many little small secret societies, but you're going to have to get part of something if you want to be part of it. This road creepy, but I don't like this road. It's like something off Get Out. I would have flipped the camera around. Hold up. Like something off Get Out. Look at this road. Creepy as I don't know what. All these trees and stuff. Maybe I'm being cool. Maybe I'm just being cool. But anyways, I'm on, a job. I'm on the way to a job, man. See how I'm in my business shirt, OCD Cleaning Services. So y'all need y'all crib. I'm trying to do it. Trying to get the commercial. I'm tired. I'm not. I'm trying to get done cleaning these houses. I need y'all crib clean or Airbnb in the area. Furthest I'm gonna drive to is South Carolina. I ain't riding nowhere further than that. South Carolina, Virginia. But well, you, got, you gotta be booking for big prices. I don't mind riding out. You North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia area will ride to you. You can clean your crib, clean your commercial businesses, all that. We we'll hook you up. I'm on the way to a job right now. But uh, yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all get y'all multiple sources of income too. Get y'all LLCs, get all that. Be be official. You know what I'm saying? My niggas in their 30s, you need to be having some, some resources, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Get your life together. That's what I'm trying to do. It ain't never too late to get your life together because when we're in our 40s, we're going to be booming. And don't worry about no kunu. You can get kunu forever. You can be in your 50s and get kunu. Let me tell you something. This girl's going to see nothing but dollar signs. See nothing but dollar Where am I supposed to go right here? He lit on a dirt road. Man, anyways, man, that's all I got to say on that, man. I do feel like it's viral. It's ran by the brotherhood. It's pitting white against black. The fight was crazy. Buddy shouldn't hit that woman with that chair, bro. <coughs> Buddy was wilding. <coughs> hit that woman with that daggone chair. He shouldn't hit that woman with that chair. People, people going to go to jail. They probably going to go further than that. They might, oh, all the black people went to jail, but not the white people. It's about, I'm just about, that's about to happen. I'm telling you, they do this every year. Election time is next year. Y'all watch, they're gonna have to get the black vote. The black vote's the most important vote because the white vote is split down the middle. 
You got half white, Republican, half white, Democrat. We need that edge to get us over the hump. So whoever get the black vote is the one who always wins. And the Spanish vote, Spanish people ain't out there voting. Spanish people don't get, you can't get Spanish people that emotionally in it to vote. Spanish folk don't give a fuck. That's why they don't even care about Spanish people like that. That's why Spanish people be left alone and they make families, they have kids. Spanish people don't care. They want to work and take care of their families and do their Spanish shit. Drip drunk on the weekends with Coronas, that's it. Why Spanish people don't be caring about this political shit. They know they can make black people emotional because Spanish people ain't really emotional like that. Most Spanish men be so cool, bro. Spanish people so cool, bro. I ain't never seen a Spanish man really upset like that. Now they get mad about some real shit, like they family, they kids involved, but like emotional shit on TV, they don't give a damn. Spanish people cool as hell on both sides. Now they women be kind of wildin', but other than that, they cool. They know that, hey, Spanish folk ain't gonna come out to vote. We could probably get them to vote Democrat, but it's split down the middle with them. We really need niggas. That's who the vote they fight for. Because the nigga vote is who get them over the hump. So y'all peep game on that. Be looking out on the future of white versus black a lot. And the boy doing McLean TV told you. So y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Let me bless y'all be safe. <coughs> I'm out. <coughs> Coming over this cold, man. I'm sorry about that, y'all. I'm sorry. Let me bless y'all be safe. I'm out.